Okay guys, we're gonna look at right angles or not right angles, measuring angles, and acute right angles and ob obtuse angles, estimating angles, and we're gonna have a bit of a shape review. Let's, let's have a stroll through some 2D shapes, two-dimensional shapes. Okay, up here we've got a classic right angle there, you'll see. It, it, it's a right angle uh, because it's got a square down in this bit here. So the actual angle is, is a square. And, and we would call that a, a right angle. That is what we would call a, a right angle. Uh, over here, now you've got different angles, don't you? I mean, uh, this one over here is, of course, sharper than a right angle, isn't it? You, you'll see that it's, uh, this, the angle here is, is, is it's much pointier than this one, isn't it? Okay, so because that, that's an, a sharper angle, we actually call it an acute angle. We call it an acute angle. I'll write those down for you in a moment. So you've got your right angle here, it's like just a square angle. And you've got your acute angle, because it's smaller than a right angle, it's sharper. And down here, you've got one that's, well, it's actually fatter than a right angle. That's the only polite way to say it. It's bigger, it's, it is fatter than a right angle. We actually call it an obtuse angle it's a bit like an obese angle actually if you want to remember that but it's much fatter so it's it's obtuse and someone sometimes when someone's actually very fat we call them obese so you can remember that they're obese and these angles are obtuse sort of the same word uh, this this angle here this is an interesting one and I'm just going to have a, a close look at this one with you uh, at first glance it seems like that's just another obtuse angle but really what's happened here is the angle's gone all the way around there so what we're actually looking at here is, is, is this, this angle here, okay? And those angles that go all the way around actually past uh, 180 degrees, uh, we call them reflex angles. We call them reflex. Let's just label those now. Okay, so they're like, oh, whoops. Okay, so they're labeled there for you. You've got your right angle, you've got your acute angle, You've got your obtuse angle, it's fatter than a right angle. And your reflex angle has gone all the way around. And I actually realise we've missed out an angle, so I better, I better just pop that one in there for you. Let's have a look at this type of angle. There you go. Okay, and this angle, of course, is just a straight angle. It's just a straight angle. Uh, and, what, and just so, so you're not tricked, what, what has happened is this, 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 this was, was maybe a right angle and it's gone all the way around to a straight angle. And I wonder if you're clever enough just to know how big a straight angle is in degrees. We don't call it 90 degrees. It's actually two right angles, isn't it? It's 180 degrees. Okay, that's called a straight angle. And in fact, because we're talking about degrees, we better go and label the other ones as well. Let's go back and have a look at those. Okay, and here you go. I've just written this down for us. So when we look at our protractor, this will all make sense. Uh, a right angle is 90 degrees. That tells you how we measure angles in degrees. So the square angles here, they're 90 degrees. If it's bigger than uh, 180 degrees, right, but not quite 360 degrees, we call it a 180 degree. Uh, well, we call it a reflex angle. If it's less than 90 degrees, we call it an acute angle, and of course, if it's an obtuse, it's more than 90 degrees, but not quite a, um, a straight angle, which is over here, isn't it? And there's our straight angle, which is perfectly 180 degrees. And if you're thinking, what do all these degrees mean, Mr. Burns? You've totally lost me. Well, let's have a look what they do mean with our old friend, the protractor. And here's a protractor, and let's just have a look here. I'll just move it into position. You see this little target down the middle, that's got to go right in the heart of the angle, so I'll pop that there. There you go, and it's gotta be flat. This this line down here has gotta be sit on the bottom line of the angle, so this line here has gotta sit here on the angle, and this target here has gotta go right there, right on the angle, so let's move it. And you should be able to see that, yes, okay, it's all lined up nicely. Uh, this here should say zero, oh, whoops a daisy. Well there it says zero, and of course up there it says 90. So that's why that's a 90 degree angle. Let's go and have a look at another one. Uh, oh, whoops a daisy. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at this one. I'll, I'll just move it for us. Oh, there you go, the little target down there. Line up the target, you've got to line up the target right with the angle, and you've got to put this bottom line of the protractor right on the angle as well. Line it up just neatly there. Good, there it is, so that's zero all the way over to, 
that's 110 degrees you should be able to see that let's measure this acute angle over here just for just for some fun let's go over there okay I have to move it so it's ooh, line her up nicely because remember this bottom line's got to go on the angle so is that good enough oh it's not good enough is it Yeah, that's good now, good. Okay, and targeting exactly, lock in, good. So that's actually about between 40 and 30, so we'd call that 40, 35 degrees, wouldn't we? Okay, all right. Now, we're actually going to have a closer look at how to measure angles in a moment. So we're about to do that bit now. So you can pause me and go on with your recognising uh, right angles and reflex angle work. Or you can keep watching and learn about how to measure angles correctly. Let's let's have a look at that. Oh, let's have a let's have a go at this straight angle. We didn't really get to measure that, did we? Let's just have a, a look at that. Okay. You can see of course it actually goes straight from zero all the way around to 180 there, and that's why it's a 180 degree angle. Okay, see, zero, 180, goes all the way around. Okay, well, let's have a look at how we would measure angles perfectly. Let's have a little go. We've got our angle there. Remember, just like I said, you've got to get the heart of the compass right here, the target, right onto the angle. There it is, and you, you put it on there, off we go, and click. You start at the zero, there's a zero there and you count up. Don't start at the 180, you start at the zero and you count up. Zero, 10, 12, well, it's a 90 degree angle. Okay, that's a 90 degree angle. It's a right angle. Let's measure this one. Get the old protractor back. Okay, let's, let's target it, put it right there. On she goes, good. And you can see that that, you start at the zero, you don't start at 180, zero, 10, 20, 30, well, that's about 35 degrees, that angle, 35 degrees, 35, 35 degrees. Let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at this one. Let's over we go. So Daisy, sorry. Let's have a look at this one. And remember to start at the zero. There's the zero. Up we go, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, that's about 62, isn't it? 62 degrees, okay, 62 degrees. Uh, I like this one, let's have a go at this one because it's a reflex angle, goes all the way around, we're not measuring this, we're measuring that. And I'm not sure our standard compass will actually do it for us, which is causing drama for Mr. Burns. Uh, let's have a look here, well, of course we've got to put the, the target right on the heart of the angle, so there it is, okay. And we start at the zero, so we go all the way around, the, all the way around, good. We get to 180, uh-oh, we've got to fill this gap here. Now, I don't actually have the right tools to do that on this computer. But we know it's more than 180 because, look, it goes all the way down here, doesn't it? Maybe we can be clever and just turn it a little bit more and, and, and add up the difference. Let's have a go at that. Let's go. Well, that's been useful. Good, so we can do that. So the, dis so the distance there between the 180 and uh, the straight line was 40, isn't it? Because 180 goes to 40. So it's 180 plus uh, 40 because the extra distance was 40 degrees. 180 take away 140 is 40. So that would be 180 plus 40. So we could say that angle size is 220 degrees. Okay. If it goes all the way around, it's 360 degrees. Okay, that's probably enough of that. All right, you can pause me if you like there uh, and answer the measuring angles question or you might want to keep watching and um, learn about estimating angles, okay? Let's do some estimations. I hope you can look at this and go, gee, it's a lot like a square. Well, let's just call that a right angle. Thanks very much. That's a right angle. What about this shape, this angle? Well, it's much sharper than a right angle, isn't it? Well, if it's sharper than a right angle, smaller, we call it an acute angle. What about this angle? Again, is it bigger than a right angle or smaller than? If it's smaller than, we call it an acute angle. It means it's less than 90 degrees, less than 
90 degrees. Okay, what about this angle? Well, again, <laughs> gee, Mr. Burns did too many. That, again, is another acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees, isn't it? Hmm, how boring, Mr. Burns. Let's fix up one of these angles. Let's get rid of that. That's boring. Let's make it an angle like this. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that smaller than 90 degrees? No, it's bigger. It's much fatter than 90 degrees. So we call it an obtuse angle. All right. This one, wow, this one goes all the way from here to all the way around. Well, if it goes all the way around, so it's more than a straight angle, what do we call it? We call it a reflex angle. Okay, that's enough of estimating angles. That might help you out. Uh, let's move on to the next topic, and you can pause me and go ahead and do your other work, or you can listen to find out about shape review. And guys, I'm only going to briefly go through this because I think you're pretty clever. I think you recognize that this five-sided shape is a pentagon. Okay, it's five sides, pentagon. It's a regular pentagon because all the sides and angles are even. This six-sided shape here is a hexagon. And again, it's a regular hexagon because all the sides and angles are even. Triangle, square. Come on, guys, I think you've probably got that. This is an interesting shape, and I got this from www.maths.fun. A parallelogram, which is a four-sided flat shape with straight sides where opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are equal in length and opposite angles are equal. So this angle equals that angle, that angle equals that angle. That side is the same length as that side, that side is the same length as that side. Guys, squares and rectangles are like this, but so are these wonky looking shapes. Okay, They're all parallelograms, these wonky shapes, squares and rectangles. Let's have a look at a rhombus, which is sort of the next level here. A rhombus is a four-sided flat shape with straight sides where all sides have equal length. All sides have equal length. It's different to a parallelogram. Also, opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. It is a type of parallelogram, but, but parallelograms can be sides of different lengths. But rhombuses can't have sides of different lengths. They've got to have all the same. Okay, uh, a square is a is a type of rhombus. Okay, guys, I've set you up nicely for all those activities that you should have. I hope this has been of use to you. Thank you for listening.